photography fans and welcome back to another lens vid review. Today we're taking a look at a V-mount battery and power station by KMTV. Let's see what they can do. We have already reviewed KMTV lights and recently a camera support vest. But the company offers a number of video solutions from tripods and heads to wireless audio. Today we're looking at a couple of new products, a V-mount battery and a power station. KMTV 99 watt hour V-mount batteries are a bit lighter than other similar batteries that we've worked with. They have a high maximum output to give plenty of power to charge a number of accessories at the same time. The battery features a USB-A port on the top and a D-tap port on each side. There's a power indicator button on the side of the battery with light up LEDs. This definitely should be a standard on any battery at this point. There's also a handy strap in the front of the battery so you can hang it off the stand when not in use or when connecting to the battery's integrated ports. In our tests, fully charging this battery took about 2 hours and it powered a 60 watt LED for about an hour. V-mount batteries are great because they pack plenty of power and can minimize the weight and the size of a camera rig. In order to charge these batteries, you can use a simple charger like this one or the Came TV power station with a built-in inverter. It has a plastic body so it's pretty lightweight, there are padded feet to keep the station sturdy and it won't topple over if only one battery is connected. There's also a small storage compartment on the bottom of the unit. The power station offers 9 different ports on one side and 2 AC sockets on the other side. The AC, USB and DC connections come with their own power buttons. There's a separate power button to power on the unit. The AC sockets are both for European and American style prongs with a grounding pin. We had some trouble with the MacBook power adapter staying in because of its weight. It's a bit annoying but there should be some simple solutions for this. On the front of the unit there's a small screen that shows useful information like battery charge status, voltage and port usage. On the inverter side the station comes equipped with a small LED. This light is plenty strong and comes in very useful in the field. It doesn't draw a lot of power and can last for hours even on very low batteries. You know that's Morse code for subscribe and hit the bell notification. This is a very versatile unit since it can charge multiple accessories at the same time. We were able to charge two laptops, two phones and a tablet with these two batteries. When connected to an electrical outlet, we try to maximize the ports to see how many accessories we can charge at the same time. With a total of 8 devices charging and running, the power draw was 70 watts. Another very useful application of this power station is being able to power non-battery lights in the field by plugging into the inverter sockets. We were able to power this 300 watt LED at 100% for close to 40 minutes with two KMTV 99 watt hour batteries. When it comes to charging accessories, it's important to mention that the power station is more designed to provide power in the field, so you can't use it to charge any accessories by just plugging it into the electric power. This unit requires at least one battery to power on. Powered by two batteries, the power station can put out a maximum of 180 watts of power at the same time. It's also hot swappable so you can keep your devices and accessories running continuously for prolonged periods of time. In our tests with the KMTV batteries, charging time on this power station was significantly longer than on other chargers. It looks like this unit only charges one battery at a time. This isn't a big deal though considering all the other accessories you can power and charge at the same time. In conclusion, this is an innovative and versatile product that can come in very handy in different productions in the field and even in camping and general purposes. While it doesn't offer fast charging and may have some issues with the sockets, it's still extremely useful. And that is it for our look at the KMTV power station and V-mount battery. Go check out the full review on our website at lensvid.com, subscribe to this channel, and come back for more videos. We'll see you in the next one.